There he is inside the car, and here he is climbing out. And the confetti is flying in the air. A big hoot and a holler coming from Kyle Busch, congratulating his team, thanking him for the effort they put in tonight. And if you look at this race car, pretty much pancaked on that side, front end damage. How did you get it to victory lane tonight? That seems to be my best style here at Darlington is beat him up as much as you can and see if you can win with it. But we didn't mean to. Uh, man, there was that one run there where we just started, we all started getting tight and it kind of came out unexpectedly. And I drove it off in a three one time and it just didn't stick and it went straight to the fence. So can't thank Z-Line Designs enough. These guys do an awesome job for us. Jim and Monica here with us tonight and uh, NOS Energy Drink, Toyota, Joe Gibbs Driven Racing Oil. You know, it's good to have those guys here and supporting us too. And, Marquee Jets, Gillette, and the Nationwide Insurance Series. We love racing here. It's fun, man. I love it. And, uh, of course, the fans, too. You know, we wouldn't be able to do it without those guys. But uh, most importantly, this team, you know, Jason Ratcliffe and the guys brought me in an awesome race car. They did such a great job for me. And, um, you know, all we had to do was kind of buy it out our time a little bit and see how it shook out through traffic and the wreck and everything down the backstretch. That got a bit interesting there. A big win for Kyle Busch. Remember, guys, just one victory away from tying Mark Martin in the record books. In fact, uh, we'll show you the numbers and remind you of one other thing. We're heading to Dover. Guess what? Kyle has won three of the last five races at Dover, including the last two, so it could be 49 all by the end of next Saturday.